This painting you see here wasn't created by a person. Actually, none of these paintings were made by a human. They were made using an AI image generator by writing a prompt and clicking one button. That looks insane. For the next 30 days, I'm gonna try selling this AI generated art the lazy way and see how much money I can make from these incredible pieces of art. The first thing I need to do is find an AI art generator. There are several options I can choose from, such as Dolly 2, Mid Journey, Night Cafe, and Stable Diffusion. Let's give it a shot and try to create a watercolor painting of a futuristic soldier cat. Wow, that cat looks really fierce. A problem with some of these generators is that they either charge money to use them, or the free ones generate images that don't look too great. Some of them offer free trials, but what if we want to generate a lot of images and have the commercial rights to sell them? We have to buy credits or pay for a subscription. If our goal is to make thousands of Van Gogh style paintings every day, we need to find a way to reduce our costs. If you've watched my other videos, then you know how much I love using Leonardo.ai. It's an awesome AI art generator that creates really high quality images, just as good as Midjourney. What's even better is that Leonardo.ai offers a free plan that gives you 1,000 images every 24 hours, and you can actually use them for commercial purposes. We can turn our AI generated art into real money. Let's get started and generate some AI art. How about a sea otter painting in the style of Picasso? These look pretty funky and cool, don't you think? And guess what? It only took about 10 seconds to create it. Pretty impressive. Now let's move on to the exciting part, selling our AI art. So here's my business plan. I'm thinking of selling unique AI art on a platform called Fiverr. It's a place where freelancers offer different services, including custom art. To get customers, I need to focus on a specific target market and decide what kind of art I'll be selling. I've already created five gigs on Fiverr and let me tell you what they offer. Video game character art of yourself, watercolor art, pet portraits, anime art, and art in the style of Van Gogh. We're trying it all here. For each gig, I've made sure to give it an attention-grabbing title, captivating images, and professional descriptions to explain what customers can expect. And of course, I've priced them competitively. The basic package starts at $5, the standard one is $10, and the premium package goes for $15. I've spent hours experimenting with different art styles, trying out everything from anime to digital to oil painting, and pinned down the best styles I can create. Well, maybe not that one. We're now on day two of this art selling adventure, and today, something exciting happened. I received a message from a potential buyer named Richard. Let's see what he said. I'm interested in your artwork illustration. Nice. I'll just say, great. What would you like to know, and what can I create for you? So, it looks like he sent this message about an hour ago. I definitely should have responded to this sooner. Hopefully he didn't go with someone else on this gig. Now, it's just the waiting game. Okay, it's day three, and still no response from Richard. It looks like he probably went with someone else. That is such a bummer. I need to be a lot quicker with my response time. But you know what? It's okay. We're going to bounce back from this. We're gonna bounce back. So now it's clear that there are people out there who are interested in AI art, but Fiverr can be a bit slow in getting their attention, especially for new sellers like us who don't have any five-star reviews yet. So instead of waiting for customers to come to us, it would make sense for us to go to them. But then that would require doing extra work like creating posts on different forums and online social media groups, sending direct messages to people, and even sending cold emails. That sounds like a lot of boring work that no one wants to do, and this is the lazy way, remember? I wanted to try this strategy as a set and forget method just to experiment and see what happens. I had absolutely no expectations. Okay, it's been more than a week since I launched my gigs, and here's an update. It turns out that anime art and video game character art are the more popular gigs, and pet portraits and watercolor art haven't been as successful. And as for Van Gogh art, it's doing okay, but not amazing. Here's the not so great news. I haven't received any orders yet. That's zero dollars for us so far. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. I was hoping to get some sales by now, but it hasn't happened yet. At this point, I basically accepted defeat and felt I wouldn't get any sales. I kept the listings up, but I was sure that no one would contact me about my gigs. I basically needed a miracle. And then, on day 13 of my art selling journey, something amazing happened. Out of the blue, I received a message from someone named David Foster 29. David said, hey, I'm interested in this. How long does it usually take? Oh my God, yes. I'll just write, awesome. I can have this done for you in less than 30 minutes. I learned from my previous mistake that I need to respond as soon as possible so the buyer doesn't go with someone else. He then said, okay, and I get two revisions. You have bundles too. I responded, yep. I have a few bundles you can choose from if you'd like and they cost a bit more. He said, okay, cool. I want kind of like an Elden Ring character of myself. Dark and melancholic and sort of grungy if you know what I mean. For those who don't know, Elden Ring is a super popular dark fantasy role-playing video game. 
I wrote, no problem. Let me make some examples for you and see which ones you like. I then asked him for a photo of himself to use as a reference. He said, okay, I'm down. Let's get started. And then he made the purchase. I wasted no time and dove right into creating the artwork for David. I thought it would be a quick task, but little did I know it would take me an hour and a half. David had a very specific style in mind for his image, so I had to try different prompts and images until I found the perfect combination. It was a lot of trial and error, but in the end, I succeeded. Finally, I can proudly present David as a video game character from Elden Ring. The artwork has a dark, grungy, and melancholic vibe, just as he wanted, and David just accepted the order. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I made my very first sale. David also gave me a 5 star review, which is super important for attracting more customers in the future. After this sale, that's when the order started pouring in. Oh my god, another order just came in. This time it's for a custom anime art portrait. I just got three orders from one customer in one day. A Van Gogh portrait of Marrakesh, Morocco. A Matisse portrait of Safi, Morocco. And a Picasso portrait of Casablanca, Morocco. Order after order, I quickly realized that selling AI art involved much more than simply clicking a button. We got another order for a video game character of themselves. Customers have specific preferences and requests, so it's important to have art knowledge and skills. You need to create detailed prompts, choose good images, and even do some editing in software like Photoshop if needed. We just got another order for a Van Gogh portrait. The time and effort we put into each order were definitely worth more than the $5 to $15 that customers paid. However, it has been a really fun experience overall. Today marks the 30th day, the end of our challenge. Looking back, there were moments when I felt discouraged and defeated, but I managed to push through until the end. In total, I received seven orders from five different customers. Considering that I started with a brand new Fiverr account with no reviews and without any advertising or outreach, I'm actually quite happy and surprised with the results. After deducting Fiverr's fees, we made a total of $68. If you want to try this for yourself, you can start generating high quality art for free in just a few seconds by visiting leonardo.ai. Just click the link in the description below to access it. And if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and check out this other video where I tried over 250 AI tools and narrowed them down to the very best ones.